Scientists warn that greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane may lead to global climate change. To reduce U.S. emissions, Congress is considering a complex system called cap and trade. The House of Representatives already passed the bill. Now it's the Senate's turn for debate. But how would cap and trade work? In 2007, factories, cars, cows, and everything else that creates and uses energy in the United States emitted more than 6 billion tons of greenhouse gases. Under a cap and trade system, the government would set a cap or limit on how much greenhouse gas emissions it will allow. Let's say 4 billion tons. Any company that goes over its allotment of permits will be fine. It can either pay the fine or it can buy pollution credits from another company that didn't use all of its permits. In the bills currently under consideration, the company can also pay for other greenhouse gas reducing actions, such as planting trees or paying for alternative energy research. These are called offsets. By putting a price on carbon, companies that don't pollute as much are rewarded, and companies that pollute more than the cap have an incentive to reduce their emissions. If the system works as planned, greenhouse gas emissions would go down. Still, a lot depends on the details. For example, how low is the actual carbon limit? And how much would it decline each year? How many pollution credits will each industry be given for free when the system is set up? And how much will energy costs go up for consumers as a result of the bill? Go to congress.org to learn more about cap and trade and tell Congress what you think.